A man who found an injured owl while out and about took it to a local animal rescue clinic out of pity to save the poor owl. During treatment, the man developed a strong bond with the owl. However, unexpected things are yet to come, so don't underestimate the owl's behavior of repaying kindness. On this day, a man named Doug went out to exercise as usual, because his home was on the edge of the city, surrounded by dense forests, and the high-quality air quality made him like to go for a run in the mountains, but when he just arrived at the foot of the mountain, he found a wounded owl lying on the ground, motionless. Doug immediately went to check, and he found that the owl suffered severe head trauma and was in critical condition. In order to save the owl's life, Doug immediately called the nearby animal rescue clinic, explained the situation, and sent the owl there. Medical staff at an animal rescue clinic in Mississippi took in the owl and evaluated it for wounds. After checking the wound, the medical staff found that the owl's injury was far more serious than everyone thought. They speculate that the owl may have been in a bad car accident that injured its brain in the impact, and that it also had some infections that made it worse. They were shocked by the owl's tenacious life, but the serious injury also made everyone extremely nervous. The person in charge of the animal rescue clinic is a woman named Missy. Based on years of rescue experience, she understands that the owl must be treated immediately, otherwise it may lose its life. So she assigned the task of rescuing the owl to the most trusted and experienced doctor. However, although the owl is still alive, given the extent of its trauma, both Missy and Doug believe it will die, and there is no full confidence that the owl will survive. But that fear didn't stop medical staff from doing all they could to save the owl. They immediately performed an operation on the owl. During the operation, everyone injected 120% concentration, and they understood that a small mistake may affect the life of the owl. Cleaning up the body, suturing the wound, applying medicine, the medical staff successfully completed the operation with their superb skills and rich experience. The owl saved its life, which also relieved everyone's hanging hearts a little bit. Although the operation was successfully completed, the follow-up treatment work is even more difficult, because animals cannot express their pain like humans, and humans and animals have different languages. Which also means that medical staff must have enough care and patience to observe it. Due to the seriousness of the owl's injuries, its recovery process was very slow. The injury made it lose a pound, which is about one-fifth of its total body weight. But with the careful care and treatment of the medical staff, the owl's body began to slowly recover, some good things are coming. Because Doug has been thinking about the owl, he will come to visit when he is free, and as the owl begins to recover physically. It seems to have a real connection with Doug, and it seems to know Doug very well. It's here to help it, and it's getting more and more open. Missy said, the owl's trust in Doug is evident in its behavior and body language. I have never seen any owl show such emotion to a human. It is really incredible. Missy and Doug all realized that the owl was gradually recovering, and they were very happy. Missy described the experience as unbelievable, saying, when the owl was brought in, everyone was stunned by its injuries, we didn't expect it to recover so well. She also said that the intimate interaction between the owl and Doug, which she has only seen on TV, I think everyone is very grateful that it can meet Doug. And the reason why Doug can have incomprehensible emotions with owls starts from his own experience. Doug has the nickname, the Raptor Whisperer, because of his long-term work with large birds such as owls, scops owls, etc. Large birds of prey are often difficult to care for because of their often unfriendly behavior. Imagine if you try to help an animal and give it meticulous care. But it scratches you, bites you, and attacks you as, return, 
presumably this is not acceptable to ordinary people. Taking care of these birds, then, requires a special kind of people, people who have the patience and tolerance to care for these tantrum-prone birds with kindness and selflessness. And Doug is that kind of person. Doug's abilities are so widely admired that he's made second in charge of the clinic, where he, along with Missy, helped Owl make a full recovery. Having seen Doug's affirming abilities at work, Missy said she has never seen someone as capable of interacting with birds of prey as Doug in her career. With Doug's help, the owl slowly recovered its ability to prey. At first, she could only eat food from Doug's hand, but over the next few weeks, he relearned how to hold food by himself. That's a big win for an owl who's raced against death. Knowing that it would take more work to fully heal the owl on his own, Doug began more detailed care. Another important milestone on the owl's road to recovery is when it is able to stand on its own again, and at this benchmark. It's clear that the owl is on track for a full recovery. Seeing the owl's condition stabilized, Doug decided to visit his family in Michigan. He handed over the care of the owl to Missy and promised to return as soon as possible. But what everyone didn't expect was that since Doug left, the owl's spirit had declined, and its recovery speed was much slower, its mood became very irritable, and it even became hostile to the medical staff in the clinic. Discovering the change in the owl's temperament, Missy realizes that it has something to do with Doug's departure. And it's clear that she misses her good friend Doug very much. After learning of this situation, Doug immediately returned to the clinic. When the owl saw Doug, everyone was shocked and moved by its reaction. It turned out that when Doug took the owl out of the cage, the owl jumped up and down on his arm, as if dancing a cheerful dance. What happened next brought tears to everyone's eyes. It walked towards Doug's chest, gently leaned its head against it, and spread its wings to hug him, as if expressing its missing for Doug. After a few months, the owl had fully recovered, which meant it was time to return him to the wild. So, with reluctance, Doug and the medical staff took it back to the place where it was found, ready to say goodbye. But to their surprise, when the owl came out of the cage, it didn't immediately fly away like the other owls. Instead, it circled above them and looked back at them from time to time. At that point, everyone realizes that Owl doesn't want to leave, and that its hesitation to leave proves to Doug that he and Owl have developed a real connection. Something that will always be with him. A well-known foreign veterinary writer once said, if having a soul means being able to perceive love, loyalty, and gratitude, then animals are better than many people. All things have spirits, even raptors like owls have a heart of gratitude. As advanced animals, we should learn to be grateful and know how to be kind.